Welcome to another video. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. I am Warren C. I do photography, mostly street photography using Fujifilm gear and some film as well with some different brand film cameras, but mostly Fujifilm point and shoot 35 mil in medium format. I pretty much document my experiences using my gear out and about and for travel, I have to say that I've gotten really excited about the 70 to 300 millimeter lens with the teleconverter. So while I was in Florida, I had an opportunity to be in Tampa area and actually close to the Grand Hyatt Hotel or at least close enough. And went over to that area and decided to take the medium format point and shoot I have, which is the GAA 645. And then I also took the X-H2 along with the 70 to 30 millimeter lens. Just basically out to capture whatever I can capture. I was gonna use the medium format as a my close focus type of setup and I was gonna use the 70 to 300 for what it's designed for, which is getting things a little bit further away from me. And uh, to my surprise, and, and I can't really say I should be because I'm really amazed at this lens. I think this lens is definitely Fujifilm's unicorn lens, if you will, along with the teleconverter. If you can get your hands on this lens, I highly recommend it if you're in the Fuji system. It has just impressed me every time I've gone out. I've gotten better and better with it. Um, I am working on my uh, birds in flight still, so that is a challenge for me. Uh, moving objects that fast and that erratic is a lot harder for me to capture than somebody walking on the streets or the portrait photography I will do on the paid side of things. Um, and just to let you guys know, self-plug, my uh, website for the paid stuff is paint with light and it's paint w l i t e dot com feel free to check that out um i, I feel free to hit me on instagram is paint dot w dot l i t as well uh just if you want to support me on that end too um but i i i'm just blown away by this lens and what it can do it is definitely the unicorn as you guys can see in the video as i go through a couple of things i was able to get some video with this of some uh, fiddler crabs that was in the area. And one of the things I will say is, is that, uh, and I was kind of close and it was kind of dark and this lens is not a, a fast lens, but I was able to focus a little on this one crab that was on the tree branch and then it would lose focus very quickly because I gotta admit its eyes blended in very well with the body and I did not use animal or bug uh, uh, autofocus in this situation. I was just out shooting, so I just had it on whatever the autofocus would focus on as I have pressed the button for stills. Uh, but I, I, I love how I was able to switch back and forth between video and stills with x 2 using the red record button. I know a lot of folks would rather just shoot in manual, and I will admit that we'll give you the best um, video quality, if you will, focus, you know, you can set your, your focus range doing that way and everything that goes into that range is in focus, which is fantastic. But in a moving environment like this, um, I don't, it's not always the best for me. So I like to just hit that button and it goes to the predetermined settings I have, and it uses the current still settings I have as well. And it captures video. So I, you know, the autofocus seems to be great. The ISO seems to be great out of X-H2 and X-H2S. And for that matter, X-T4 was great too. Um, but I love the video I was able to capture with this of the birds stealing the fish from around the people that were fishing. Uh, and the images that I captured were fantastic as well. Um, images of the local birds around this, this, this hotel area, uh, images of birds in flight, which hopefully are a lot more in focus than my recent adventures. Um, and I was just, again, blown away how quickly I was able to maneuver with this lens, which means I'm really getting comfortable with it and get some images that I'm really happy, really proud of. And that's really ultimately what it comes down to, right? I, I do this channel and I, I put this content out for folks to share my experience. And, and I, I'm really excited when I can definitely put out some really good content for sure. And that is always the goal is that I'm happy with the content I'm putting out. So thank you again for all those that definitely have left comments and supported me along the ride. 
we're at 560 something subscribers which is fantastic you know i stopped counting after five but let's keep growing like and subscribe especially if you're not subscribed and um then as i wrapped up i do want to enter in like i always do at the end of these videos is some some film and so here you go i use kodak portra Portra, excuse me and uh shot around the tampa area and around this hotel and got some also stellar images as i use it for more of a um i don't know filmic close focus if you will in some cases but i just just wanted to take shots and see what i can get so here are those images a couple of those and you guys let me know again what you think about those so let me know what you guys think about all in all the xf 70 to 300 millimeter now i'm, I'm just again blown away with the lens so lessons learned if i and i want to start adding lessons learned to my videos this is a lens that's got even though it's not like the one to 400 as far as its girth or the 150 to 600 as far as its girth um you are going to want to have another lens with this if you're traveling and for me that lens is the if it's going to be a two lens setup i will either do a prime like a 35 or the 30 new 33 um or if i want a little wider i do the new 18 or i do the new the new 23 so along with this lens or if you want to get the most bang for your buck i do the 18 to 120 power zoom coupled with this or i do the 18 to 55 kit lens coupled with this to give you a very good range for traveling so there you go i wanted to try to make this quick give you guys again my continued experiences out shooting with this wonderful lens and uh, like comment subscribe again and i'll see you guys on the next video